Hi guys. So um <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. I haven't shared this story before on my channel and I just felt I should share it with you all today and I think <laughs> sorry for my nails guys. I'm so so busy that I can't fix my nails. <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you for the kiss but i need to make a video baba <laughs> God. Ah. so guys so like i was saying i haven't shared this before in this platform and then today i have decided to share it with you all <laughs> So if you're taking up medicine or nursing, I know it's kind of difficult, okay? But it's worth it. Do not give up. Nursing school can drain you. Medical school can drain you. Going to classes, going for duties, reading for quizzes, reading for tests, exams. And then you're not sure if you're going to pass it or not. <laughs> Sometimes you don't even have time to hang out with your friends. Sometimes you can't even, you, you don't even have your social life again. Why? Because of medical school. Most of you that has been following me for quite some time, you already know my story, right? You already know what I went through in the Philippines before I became a nursing graduate. So you already know that it's because of lack of funds no money and you know when you're studying and there's this feeling when you're studying and you're paying your tuition fee at the right time or ahead of time you know if you're very serious with your education you will be motivated to study more guys this was my situation first year and second year of nursing i was paying my tuition fee before time okay I was doing well in class okay I was very very serious I was reading oh my gosh oh my goodness I was so serious I was <sighs> until this fateful day my parents lost their job I couldn't pay I wasn't getting money like I used to you know that was a period I started taking care of myself in the Philippines. That was a period I said, you are on your own. I am on my own. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, being a nursing student, not meeting up with classes, not paying tuition fee was driving me crazy, guys. Because you know that you're owing school fees and then the school is saying, you need to pay. If you don't pay, don't come to school. And if you don't pass this exam, you're going to repeat. And if you don't renew your visa, you're going to be deported. <laughs> Guys, a lot were going on my head, you know? I was even surprised how I was passing the other um, exams, okay? Until I got to CA1. <laughs> oh my goodness, CA1 was where I failed my nursing exams. You know, CA1, competency appraisal one. You know, without competency appraisal one, you cannot go to competency appraisal two. So, the passing grade for CA was 60%. You should get 60. That is the passing grade in my school. Okay, 60. Guess how much I got? 47 guys uh, I failed my first periodic exam second periodic exam and finals <laughs> That was so so bad Guys I cried you know why because I was so stressed that day. I was really really stressed. I Couldn't take it anymore. I was like Will they kick me out of nursing school? I was like, I won't graduate again with my with my badge, you know? 
That moment you are thinking that you will graduate with your badge, at the end of the day, you did not. It can drive one crazy. I, I didn't graduate with my badge. Ah, I was asking myself, when will this be over? And then I, I dropped out of school for one year to go and make money to pay my tuition fee. I was braiding hair, I was cooking, I was preparing some African dishes, selling to people, but the money still wasn't enough. Even my school COO got the news of what was happening to me. He got the news of what was going on with me and he asked to see me. And he asked me what was going on. Look at your previous record. You were doing great. You did great. What happened now? I said, sir, it's a long story. It's a long story. And he was asking, so um, how can we be of help? I said, well, if you guys can allow me graduate, and then after graduation, I can be paying back the school. They said, but you don't have a means of paying back the school. So... We don't want you to continue study, but we want to help you. What if you start selling some things in the school? They talked about it, but they didn't carry on with the plan. So I started traveling around making people's hair <laughs> until I met my husband who helped to clear the fees. Okay? I've already shared this in my previous video, so I don't want to repeat, repeat, repeat again. So at this point, money is not a problem because I have someone that is paying my tuition fee. And then I enrolled for CA1 again to retake the exam. So at this moment, I wasn't thinking of how to pay tuition fee. All I was thinking of was how to pass the exams because I think if you fail two times, you're going to drop out. The school will ask you to drop out leave nursing okay so <laughs> my first periodic exam i failed my second periodic exam i failed i have one more life remaining that was the finals so my dean and my assistant dean they called me and said glory what is happening do you want to fail again do you want to drop out of nursing school what is your problem? Money is not the problem now, right? So what is the problem? I said I don't feel motivated to review anymore. When I wanted to review, has passed. Now I don't feel motivated. Because what I've been through has really, really made me lose motivation. And she said, Glory, you need to do this. You can do this go home and review guys she spoke some words into me she gave me some words of advice and i went home brought out my books past question papers i started reviewing i was reviewing reviewing asking myself questions going to youtube making research asking goggles <laughs> and guys during the exam all those questions came out imagine someone that failed first periodic exam second periodic exam and then i made it in my finals <laughs> even on the mock board i made it guys i was so so proud of myself because even after everything i've been through i still did not give up so i don't know what you're going through right now but don't give up okay don't give up. I'm not working as a nurse now, but I'm going to work as a nurse in future, okay? In future, I will. <laughs> but guys, I enjoyed nursing school. Going to the duty, going to labor room, theater. Oh my gosh, I enjoyed it so, so much. <laughs> and finally, look at me today, a graduate. I made it. I made it, guys. <laughs> I made it so I hope and I pray someone will get inspired from this 
Thank you so much for watching. Bye.